Hi guys, so yesterday I was at the NEC Classic Motor Show in Birmingham that was on Saturday 11th of November 2023 and uh, there Paul Cowlin, Catherine Kelly and Tony Pitts announced the production of a brand new movie called Classic. It's going into production next year and as you can imagine it revolves around classic car culture and the classic car scene. Sounds like an amazing project, I can't wait to see how this thing turns out. In the meantime, I managed to get an exclusive one-on-one -on -one interview with Tony Pitts, the writer, actor and director who you may know from Star Wars Rogue One and also the soap opera Emmerdale. Check this out. A brown car guy. Brown car guy. I am <laughs> Tony Pitts. I'm uh, a writer and a director uh, and an actor and uh, uh, car nut. I think it's fair to say. So um, I'm about to make, we're about to make a movie called Classic uh, in the UK. Uh, we're starting to film it in spring of next year. This set, without giving away too much detail, the central story will take part of a 24 hours uh, Classic Car Club. That's amazing. Well, we're obviously at a classic car event today. This is the NEC Motor Show. That's right. And so, is this like an inspiration for the sort of thing that you're doing? Uh, yeah. Well, it's uh, it's kind of the yeah. It's an, it's, uh, I've got the cars. I've picked yeah. I've picked the cars that I want for the uh, for the film. There's going to be varying levels of. Some of them will be concourse, beautiful, yeah. extremely expensive, and some of them will be fish and chip classics like um, a little MG midget. Uh, we're here today to announce the film to the motoring press, uh, to talk to partners who are uh, on board with us to, to make the film. So the film, what is the reason for creating this film? Is it to celebrate car culture or is it to talk about... Okay, um, so it's always, that's always a tricky... Uh, look, the, the truth is that I think the film's about people rather than cars. I mean, yeah. nothing's... No film is about what it's about. It's about how people. What I found is uh, in my life that there's so, uh, maybe other people, car people, found the same thing. There's something about sitting in a car with somebody that allows you to speak openly and freely. Sitting, looking forward. I've resolved a lot of issues yeah. in, in my cars yeah. with me. That difficult car conversation that, no, where you're exactly both looking that, down. Look at that, you're exactly looking at the that. future effect from behind you because you're, you're driving down forward. the road. Yeah, you're going forward. Exactly yeah. that. Yeah. So yeah, so you've got it. So yeah, so that's uh, that's kind of um, what it is. It's. It, it I mean, one of the things that people don't realize about cars is that they're a great benefit. When we talk a lot about mental health these days, cars play a big role. My in therapist for the last 45 years has been my cars. If I, I uh, and I don't want to belittle mental health by being flippant, but I. Uh, I go for a drive. Yeah, that's my. That's how it's always been. I, I uh, go for a regular drive. It's a 48-mile course yeah. that I've been doing for years. That uh, I know every corner. I know every, uh, and it's the only time that all that stops. Yeah. And I'm just free to. Yeah. Well, I'm preaching to the converted. I'm sure you know. It's no, but it's what you said was very interesting. Is that the story is about people? Because actually, cars. That's what they are. Of course, yeah. They're no, about no, people. Course, a car in no, itself is a beautiful inanimate yes. object it's, until you get to hear the story. Yes, you no, know, exactly. That. And cars have meaning uh, to people uh, in context. I. PWB 717K was my father's first car. It's a, and you remember a, a the red number plate. Yeah. I don't know. Every I'm 61. Every man my age <laughs> seems to remember that, that, that. So it's a red Cortina XL with a black vinyl roof, uh, and then he put a white stripe on it, and I thought it was uh, Starsky and Hutch. <laughs> the business. And all that. Oh. So yes, yeah, so, uh, uh, yeah. So cars have. Uh, different meanings to different people. Uh, there are people, my partner Katie is producing the film, doesn't get cars. Right. No matter what, I collect cars, I've had some beautiful, beautiful cars. Uh, she seems mainly interested in what colour they yeah, are. Yeah. Uh, she doesn't get the, the thing. Do you think that there's a generational gap happening here as well at the moment, where we are starting to see a younger, like when I was growing up, Priority number one for me was to get my driving license and to sure, get a car. Same. I don't see that in my kids. No, no. My son 
He's, so I got my driver license when I was 17. It's, it was yeah. I couldn't. I, I, that was the entire focus of my life was because it represented freedom and all the other things that yeah. we know. My son uh, was 20 last week. Loves cars. Could tell you, uh, and, and not just modern cars. He's got a love of classic cars, and he loves the uh, the visceral thrills of driving with manual, all all, all that stuff. But we, he lives in Brighton, yeah. so there's no there's no real need for him. There's no. I was from uh, Sheffield, Northern Sound, with it, and I wanted to yeah. get out and away. Yeah. You know. So no, I think you're probably right. That does feel. But like it was also changed. much more than that. When we were growing up, it was like if you were the guy with the car, suddenly your popularity was like I off know. the scale. You know. So like, <laughs> the kids who had cars yeah. were, were demigods in where, where I live. Yeah. A lad called Simon Cannon, and there's a lad called Jez Mino, and Jez had a Rover yeah. 3.5 that he tuned and well, SD1, mythical yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Oh. Myth but it, it was mythical <laughs> yeah. like we were 13 14 yeah. and he had yeah. this car that he used to in the neighborhood it yeah. was yeah you know exactly. yeah. Yeah, yeah. so is this the kind of story that you're hoping to tell through this movie the, okay well this I said I, I can't uh, for obvious reasons I can't go into the plot but I'm exploring a lot of the things that we've just touched upon there uh, and it's also an opportunity for me to mix my professional life with my passion so it's a win-win for Do me. Do you think that we have enough car content in film and TV anymore? Because you remember when I grew up I used to have a TV shows that I liked sure. there was always a hero car. Sure, always. You yeah, always yeah, yeah, associated yeah, the, the car with it. And we you, and we James just live Bond in a much stuff, more, you know? the culture's just so much more dissipated than it was. There's just yeah. so much more choice and the people consume things it's in entirely different ways now so yeah. that that commonality of a tv show that everybody watched that feels like that's kind of gone the big cinema films yeah. car content again bullet all those we could name yeah. all the uh, i just i think that they're there and they're still yeah. in the ether and people can still consume them but i think with it's society is so much more the culture is so much more yeah. fragmented but the good news is for me is people like you so if i i'm i'm down the youtube rabbit <laughs> every uh, th two three hours a day wow. following content whatever car I'm in love with it whatever car I'm yeah. in love with at that moment yeah, yeah. And, so, and, and there it is so, so do you think that's what's happened is that the car yeah. culture has now basically moved across the social yes. media yes I absolutely do I think that I think that huge uh, huge well so there's insta and, and that stuff the immediate stuff but I, I, I think that YouTube particularly so last week, I, so I fall in love with a different car every week and try not to buy. So last week I was fancying an 840 uh, BM from the 90s, and then I thought, I wonder if you can supercharge them. And of course you can supercharge them, so I watched that. Yeah. And then somebody had, got, somebody had uh, 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 replaced it with an M5 engine, so well, that stuff would have been impossible to yeah. find yeah, yeah, when yeah, we yeah. were kids. So it, it, yeah. Impossible. On YouTube, it's, there's 15 things for me to... I mean, the internet has done a lot for the car community, hasn't it? I remember having to have certain cars die because I couldn't find parts back in the yes, day. But of sure. course now you can jump on, you can find somebody yeah. in deepest, darkest, darkest yes. America manufacturing something. hundred percent. Yeah, and also, and also, well, I've also found on if there's been, uh, if I've had problems with, uh, I'm a Porsche nut, Porsches yeah. are my thing, and I had, uh, a, 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 I collect them, and I had a problem with one of my earlier Porsches, and um, two, two really respected mechanics that I used often looked at it, couldn't bottom it out. I got on the internet, looked on yeah. the conversation, it was, it was there all it there. Is. there. I just it is. rang him and went, that's what it is. Tony, thank you so much for yeah. talking to me. When can very, we expect to see this movie? Uh, well, we'll be shooting early summer, so all being well. It's difficult to say, it's a funny business, a film business, but I would say around this time next year. Uh, next year. Can't wait, can't yeah. wait. Thank you so Love much. Love to meet you. Brown card. Hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please, please hit the like button and share this video as well if you can. And while you're at it, check out these guys who also sponsor my content. I am deeply grateful to them because it helps me to buy new equipment, put fuel in the cars, and yes, buy a cup of coffee. You can do the same. Just go here or right here on YouTube. Just hit these three little dots down here and click on thanks. Make sure you're signed in first. My content is free. But this is how you can help me keep it that way. I may even send you a gift. Oh, by the way, watch this next.